Hey guys, so I wanted to hop on here and just share with you guys a quick word. Um, I'm driving, so if I look away, that's why. Um, I wanted to share with you guys really quickly just something the Lord placed in my spirit. Even about today, um, there's just this shift that has happened, like this joy, this amount of joy that God is pouring out and has poured out. But um, God is talking about our mindsets right now. There's a shift right now in our mindsets. In our minds, if you go into the Word, God says, don't be, um, uh, transform your minds. Don't be conformed to this world, but transform your mind in the Lord, right? We got to transform our mindset in God. And, and how do we do that? That is by prayer. That is by reading the word of God so we know who God is and we see God move and work in our lives. But not only that, we can hear the voice of God when we are postured in him. And so as God was sharing this word with me, wow, there's just so much revelation and so much blessing around it, like so much goodness and, and joy and faithfulness around it. God wants to pour into us but he wants our minds right. He wants us to be not only set on him and focus on him, but knowing who's for us, what is for us, even the places we go to matter. Like um, I recently got invited to go out to this place that is not necessarily um, somewhere that I, I would ca even catch myself in. Um, it, it's There's a lot of open doors let's just put it that way and um although it could be a great spot for like to hang out and have like a bit of a just like something casual but on the weekends they open it up to the point where it's like loungy very clubbish if we're being honest and in that moment in our choices right and what we decide God has to be in it. God has to be in our choices because it makes the biggest difference in our lives. And what we say yes to is what we invite into our lives. And so as I was just sitting here, the Lord was pouring into me. He's like, your mind, your mindset, like our mindset has to be on the Lord and his goodness and his faithfulness. And when your mind is positioned, your heart is, is positioned in the Lord, but your mind is focused on God, God can speak to you and God can give you ideas, God ideas. God can give you this joy. God can give you this vision for life that you haven't had before, that you've never had before. And it changes the trajectory of your life. And um, there's amazing things God wants to do through us. He says in his word, which I will link the scripture down below. He says that man will do greater works than he did. Meaning it's not about materials, but it is because God places the ideas. God places the the, the fruition and he places all these things into our lap so that we are fruitful, that we could be an abundance of a blessing to those around us. And so as I was sitting here and I was just, you know, in this solitude with God, being quiet and just sitting with the Lord, he was just sharing about our mindsets, right? God wants to shift the atmosphere. God wants to shift the dynamic, the transition, the trajectory of our lives that our children's children are blessed. And it, and it goes forth, right? We have to have a vision in God. Not only is it about our future, not only is it about what God can do for us, but it is about knowing who God is that breaks the barrier and the mold of uh, what we've dealt with, our past, our shame, our guilt, the things that we've dealt with that no longer tie us down anymore, that no longer have um, a, 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 a stronghold over us because of knowing who we are in Christ. We are walking in divine freedom. And when you walk in freedom, God can move in such a way that you've never seen him move before, right? He says he does abundantly, exceedingly all that we can ever ask or imagine. So imagine the God of the universe, the God that has created you and I, the God that can take us from the pit to the palace, the God that is so sovereign and seated on his throne wants to use you, wants to pour into you, wants to give you creativity, wants to give you ideas, wants to give you a vision that you will not find in this world, but only in the Lord. So I pray this word blesses you guys. It's such a good word saturated in the Holy Spirit. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. God bless you.